Hi guys, my name is Alexo Avrenin. Welcome to YouTube channel Senior QA Automation Engineer. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's talk about structure of page object model in automation project. I take example of e-commerce application because it's most popular candidate for automation in UI. We have main and test classes in test project. First of all, I tell about main classes. Why we need them? We use main classes for storing our methods. Firstly, in this case, we don't duplicate them in test classes and call methods in any test class using just one line of code. Secondly, project has accurate and more readable code. If you create just one main class, it doesn't work. It will be a huge class and big mess without any logic. Plus, don't forget that we write code for automation team and everybody should understand how you write code and use it. In this case, we create many main classes with logical names. Main idea page object model divide project on small usable classes by pages or features. But don't rush to create them. When you start project, first of all, you hard code your test cases in test classes and write working well code. Just after that, when your code starts duplicating and increasing many times, you can start moving all actions and methods in main classes. Before that, you can't predict how many main classes you need. I'll give you an example. You create many logical main classes, but one part of application has just one checkbox. Do you create whole class just for checkbox? Even its logical part of application? No. That is why don't trust generate dozens of main classes. Every application has own specifics. I give you example of main classes. For example, login has all possible methods for login part. You can use positive and negative test scenario for login possible lockout account after maximum attempts. Main class has all repeatable actions on main page and very often you can use it for different main and test classes because you should always do these actions before each test. Category class. You work with all categories in all commerce application. It can be specific category or all of them. All actions with categories you can put in one class. When you do shopping and you buy some item, all actions with scroll selection of specific item, add quantity and add to cart are added in this class. When you have all actions in shopping cart, add or extract quantity, remove item or record name and description of item, you can put all these methods in shopping cart main class too. When you add address parameters with different combinations of data, you create these methods in shipping page info. Possible different rules of delivery. It can add more test cases. Payment info page with all possible actions is more important and complicated. You have test valid credit card and set of negative values. But the problem is in all cases it's connected by API third party vendor and it's not possible to fix it many issues because it's functionality of different company. That is why testing is very limited. Review order before payment. You can use saved previous data and comparison. It's correct shipping info, name and description item, quantity and model. You should check that no possible lost items. Final receipt page is very important too. It is required for any sales. Custom should have valid data. Using Selenium you can take all text data and do comparison using Java and you can store different previous data and use it on all required pages. How you can use data during test? You can move all data in Excel in data files, Excel, CSV, text files or it's possible you can move all data in data class. You can use separate config file for all your credentials, encrypt them and don't push in your repository. 
if you use data class, any type of variables as string, integers or boolean, you can create separate class for locators. It has by type of variables. Data provider is a nice feature of TSNG and it gives opportunity to use list with different data. It's possible to use all strings data from data class and after just use it in data providers. They can locate inside test classes or in separate class. Data provider can loop many combinations of data as separate test. It's faster than Java loop. And if one test is failed, next test is running. And it gives many test results just for one test scenario. New data, new test result. If you use text file or Excel, you need to take data from data files in some specific place too. Possible create SQL class using GDBC connector and always take fresh data from database and use it in UI test classes. It is one of the best ways for stable test cases. But plus it's possible to fill in some data in UI, for example registration, and check fresh data is saved or not in database. For some companies, connection with database is very important for stable test framework because data is dynamic and changes every day even in test environment. But not all companies give access for QA to test DB and never give access to production DB. It's not safe. All main methods have all possible actions on all possible required pages and features. Number is can be different, it's up to you. You can create many main classes or you can create just a couple of them. But it should be readable, it should be beautiful code for, for all automation team. Test class should call methods and actions. But the problem is it's not very comfortable to specify specific main class or all of them in test class. In this case you can extend all main class in just one test class. It's called base UI class. It is one from many possible good solutions. You can extend all main classes, plus you can add base and after methods, plus all three browsers, plus connections to South Labs if it's required. You can take logs, reports and screenshots in after methods. It should be most important test class. It can be one helper class for all test classes. It manages all test classes. Test classes extend just from base UI class and base UI test has already all main class methods. All test classes have all your test cases. You can create separate class by feature, by section or by pages or by different test suites. It's important only for readability of your code. Try don't overload your classes by code. You can reduce your code for repeatable actions using loops and or data providers or different types of methods. Always store data separately. Add data in variables. Try not hard code. Because any QA can should read and use your code. Add comments with description of actions. Add logs and reports. Test classes have all TSNG annotations. It means only test classes give test results in reports. Main classes only help to run test classes and reduce amount of code. You can divide test in test classes by group, by browsers. Test can extend main classes into base UI class. It is more comfortable. But it's a bad way to try to extend test class in main class. It's almost not possible. Every test class can exclude many tests, but if tests are not logically connected, the best way to create always separate test class. For example, in login, uh, we can check all possible positive and negative login combinations. Using data provider, possibly create one test method and dozen of test cases. In registration, you can check all required and optional combinations of parameters. If you have specific requirements for registration, 
you can check them. Sometimes you have more than one type of registration. It can be Facebook integration, simple and advanced registration. Password can be in same class or separately. Because you can check hundreds of combinations for password and check security of application. In Shop and Test class, you can do search of different items, scrolling and change different categories, check categories links, selection of items, it can be React or Angular UI. Sometimes it's not easy automate. You can use Selenit or JavaScript executor for loading new items in categories. The items are not exist in category page yet, and Selenium can detect them. It can easily break your test cases, in this you need to scroll to items and load new items on same page. After you select item with specific name, description, index or always random item, add quantity of item and add item to shopping cart. You can do full cycle of shopping and always return to main page and select new random category. Each category or item can have different rules because they can have different locators or other specifics. Payment is important part of any application, but you can check just one side of application. How works everything before confirmation of payment? Users, messages and required fields. Confirmation is tricky part. You can get error, but because it is API to third-party servers, it is possible that your team can't fix it. Only give notice team of payment company that something is wrong. If you have shopping, filters should be good for any good application. It can be any type of parameters. In this case, you can use it filter and check final filter results. It should be good vice verifications. How you can verify that your assertion is correct and you can catch real bugs in this case. Many e-commerce websites have specific categories. They can have different locators and unique web elements. In this case, the best way to use separate test class for this category. Search is the most important feature in e-commerce websites. Users don't try to find something without search. That is why it should be strong algorithm of search. It can be search of word, phrase, numbers, sentences and includes specific of some special characters. In this case, your application can use accurate uh, of party search and find valid item. It means your company can earn money when users buy something. That is why it should be wise and good test scenarios, because many project managers write bad use cases in this area, and company loses money. Brand name can have apostrophe and search doesn't find correct brand. Check images and links are important part too. Manually do it is complicated because e-commerce websites have a lot of links and images. Using Java and Selenium, you can check all images and links for couple minutes. It saves your time and efforts. In this case, user doesn't see empty broken image or broken links with 404. Okay, reports. Reports it's separate. It can be an IntelliJ idea or in TestNG reports. It's easiest way. But it's very visible reports with good output. You can create extend reports with each step in each test case and screenshots if test is failed. Or you have license to South Labs. It means you can use video reports, logs and output in cloud. By the way, TestNG has option for video reports too. Okay. I think it's enough information for explanation of POM model.